Welcome everyone to our new episode of the series Biblical Treasure. Today I'm here with Emma and I want to introduce her to you. Emma, tell us, uh, well thank you for coming today. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in Ingwing and tell us a little bit about your family. Well hi Fernanda, thank you, thank you for having me today. So I have been in Angmering for nearly four years now. I live here with my husband, Nick, and I have two boys, Henry, who is five, at St Margaret's Primary School. He's just in reception. And then his little brother, Peter, who, who is two. Thank you. And also, Emma, uh, before we get into the question that we are talking about today let me just ask you if you were to be transported into your childhood back into your childhood where would you go um that's a yes yeah, a tricky question but i think i would go to the beach on the east coast of yorkshire my family all grew up in a seaside town called bridlington which was always absolutely freezing but beautiful sand and excellent chips and ice cream. Oh, that sounds lovely. Um, okay, so for everybody watching us today, in this new series of the Biblical Treasures, we've been uh, discussing the characters in the Bible. We know that the Bible is made of 66 books and that God inspired people to write the Bible, normal people like you and me. And there are characters in the Bible that we can learn from. So my question to you today, Emma, is what is the character in the Bible that has inspired you to your Christian life? So today, yeah, I'd like to talk about Martha and how, how she has inspired me. So I relate heavily with Martha. And although she only features a few times in the New Testament, I remind myself often of her struggles when battling with my own, my own daily life. So Martha, I'm, I'm sure many of you know, she's the sister of Mary and of Lazarus. And you can find the two stories that I think stand out the most about Martha. The story of Martha and Mary in Luke chapter 10, verses 41 to 42. And the second time is the story of Lazarus in John 11, verses 1 to 44. So the first story of Martha and Mary shows us that Martha is just totally consumed by all of her work and she misses out on listening to Jesus. I think it's very easy to see, well, it's very easy for me to see Martha in me, in, in her actions there. But we then see a very different side of Martha in the passage in the Gospel of John. So these two passages, they really show us that Martha, she is a complex character. She's preoccupied with routine and the mundane, but she's also a person of great faith and trust. She takes her responsibilities very seriously and is often weighed down by these, but she's also full of insight and vision about what God can do. So like, I can certainly relate to these extremes with my work, life, faith, balance. Like, I can't always get it right, but perhaps I don't need to be so hard on myself. So what Martha speaks to me is that when it matters most, the faith that God has given can, can sustain me and also bless others. So... Yeah, 2021 has been a tricky year for me. I think it's been a tricky year for most. Um, but, but Martha, she's shown me that um, loss, I guess when with the loss of her brother, loss, loss changes us, like whatever this may look like, if it's the loss of a loved one, loss of a friend, loss of health, loss of work. Yeah, all of these things, they, they can leave a big hole and if we don't seek peace in our loss, like this, this can turn to bitterness, which of course can eat away at us. But what Martha did is she took her loss to Christ and the miracle happened. So in John chapter 11, verses 21 to 22, um, it says, Lord, Martha said to Jesus, 
If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. So here we see that when we take any loss to Christ, a miracle, it can happen for us too. I mean, it's unlikely to be the raising of the dead, but it can can be a new experience for God's love for us and his presence with us. And actually, this is my experience. And yeah, it's truly humbling. So, yeah, with this in time, it's allowed like, me to take steps in fresh hope and like, a greater purpose like for, for life ahead. Um, and then I guess linked to this, Martha shows me that it's OK to be real with Jesus. We don't just have to come to him in our Sunday best. Um, yeah, Martha shows like she does not run away from him and she doesn't refuse to open up to him. She is she is true with him. She speaks words of blame. She's like she's really cross with him for his, his unresponsiveness. And she shares like the pain that she is feeling. She shows all of her um, to to him. So with us too, like God, he knows how we feel and he can take our anguish and anger like with without offence and when we come before God ready to expose our hurt and misery we can find that God he shares our suffering and he can pour his love into our grief and and I've seen that in my sorrow the Holy Spirit he yeah it has shown me the rainbow in the storm and helped me to experience like my my faith in you, which yeah is is such such a blessing indeed. Oh, thank you, Emma. This is really amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. Mm-hmm. And actually, talking about Martha in that way that makes us see that we can come to Jesus when we are in in sorrow, and we can just pour our hearts to Him like she did. And, and this, I think most people, I'm certain, uh, will be able to relate to Martha in, in that way. So thank you very much for bringing this truth, this precious treasure to us today. Thank you. No, you're very welcome. Oh, thank you again. And, and thank you for uh, to everyone that has been watching us. And we're looking forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. God bless. <laughs>